It's hardly surprising that some shows are willing to risk it all in order to stay relevant, while others are more inclined to stick with what works. But the fact of the matter is that no one approach is foolproof, because both of these outlooks have resulted in the literal or metaphorical death of beloved TV shows. From bold risks gone wrong to greedy networks who just can't let it go, I'm Ellie with What Culture, here with 10 costly mistakes that doomed great TV shows. Number Number 10. Overextending – Supernatural Given Supernatural's uber-successful run, it would be understandable if you scoffed at its placement on this list. Because in all honesty, it did stand the test of time and bowed out after its 15th season. But this wouldn't have been the first time that it was faced with a potential conclusion, and it was the CW's money-driven decision to revive it that prevented it from delivering the definitive ending that it truly deserved. The truth is that Supernatural was originally envisioned as a five-season show by its creator. The show was supposed to chart the adventures of Sam and Dean Winchester as they learned more about their family history and how the demons they were hunting would lead them to their destination. And that's exactly how it all panned out, with the fifth season bringing that overarching story to an emphatic end. However, due to its overwhelming popularity, the CW went ahead and renewed it for a sixth season anyway. And with that, it devolved into a directionless shell of what it once was. Number 9. A difficult second season that should have happened, 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why's first season had the world talking due to its intense subject matter, but it's hard to deny that it was a compelling adaptation of Jay Asher's novel, highlighting the life and death of Hannah Baker. However, instead of letting the initial season linger in people's minds, Netflix decided that its popularity was enough cause for renewal. Without any source material to go on, or, you know, even its central character, 13 Reasons Why quickly descended into a tropey, misguided attempt to rehash a story it already told. And while its third season was a massive improvement over that messy second, the powers that be completely lost sight of what the show once was. Again, here we have another case of when the series' popularity out weighs the logic of whether it should go on or not. Number 8. The Terrible Negan Cliffhanger – The Walking Dead the Walking Dead had so much going for it by the time that it reached season 6, because it had successfully managed to introduce comic book threat Negan as an antagonist without even having him appear on screen. Yep, the plotting was that good that they built up this guy's fearful reputation for a whole season, leaving new fans intrigued and comic book fans salivating at the thought of his arrival. And then they went and let all that intricately plotted air out in a series of frustrating decisions. Negan's arrival in the finale resulted in the cheapest cliffhanger in TV history, as he bashed in the head of, well, the cameraman apparently. Unsure of who they were going to kill off, the powers that be thought it best to keep viewers waiting again, and never revealed who the villain targeted until the seventh season's premiere. To top it all off, this kickstarted a trend as the writers promised this great war that never came throughout the seventh season and fizzled out in the eighth, all while Negan quickly developed into a pantomime villain that wasted time with endless monologues and found himself protected by a ton of plot armour. And even though the show eventually improved, it didn't matter because people had stopped caring. Number 7. The Muddled Trailer – Batwoman Long before the show hit screens, Ruby Rose's Dark Knight was riding high after a well-received debut in the Arrow vs. Elseworlds crossover that completely shattered expectations. And then they only went and released a trailer for the show that did the complete opposite. Gone was the character's gothic and triumphant theme, and in its place was a generic pop song, while the questionable snippets of dialogue didn't do the pilot episode any justice whatsoever. And the particularly irksome, I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work line worked completely against it because, as so many fans, women and men alike, pointed out, she literally stole Batman's costume, armoury and identity. The trailer was a complete injustice to everyone who had worked on the show because it led to a ton of criticism before the pilot even aired, and has resulted in it becoming the least watched of the Arrowverse shows incredibly early into its run. Number 6. Not moving on from the original cast, Glee for its first three glorious years, Glee centred on Mr. Will Schuster and his McKinley High Glee Club, New Directions, as they attempted to fight the bias against the arts by winning their sectionals, regionals and nationals championships. 
However, when the time came for those original characters to graduate, fans wondered what would happen to the show. Too afraid to let go and yet too scared to alienate fans, the show adopted a split narrative format, devoting half of its time to the beloved graduates as they chase their dreams in New York City, and the other half to the next generation of New Directions back at McKinley. And it didn't take long to see that it just wasn't working. The maturity of the New York storyline didn't balance well with the immaturity of the McKinley ones, and the new characters were little more than Carl or copies of the originals, forced to repeat earlier storylines without any of the stakes. And this in turn marks the beginning of the end for this once revolutionary show. Number 5. Not sticking with the original plan, Heroes Heroes was, without question, one of the most innovative, compelling, and edge-of-seat shows to ever grace television. The only problem is that this four-season show was only all of that in its first. Though the show was originally envisioned as a multi-season show, it was designed to tell different stories. That's right, creator Tim Kring had planned on repopulating it with a brand new cast for the second season. But following the popularity of the show and that specific cast, plans were ultimately changed changed, meaning that this one season story had to be redesigned. As a result, all the momentum that the show had amassed was quickly killed off, and fans grew weary of the fact that they were flogging their dead heroes in a bid to keep this diluted story going. Heroes probably could have enjoyed a longer run had the powers that be followed the initial plan. It might not have been as high a standard as that first season, but it would have given the show a chance, which is more than those last three seasons gave it. Number 4. Olicity Romance and Killing Laurel, Arrow Arrow was a trendsetter when it came to modern-day superhero television, reinvigorating the genre in a way that we hadn't seen in some time. Unfortunately, that popularity worked against it as the writers took one of its popular supporting characters, Felicity Smoke, and rammed her to the forefront of the show, a decision that snowballed into a series of very bad decisions. As the fourth season focused primarily on Oliver and Felicity's non-canon romance, it began to highlight the sheer toxicity of it. And to make matters worse, the writers thought it would be a good idea to kill off one of the few comic book characters left on the show, the Green Arrow's actual love interest, the Black Canary. Yes, the death of Laurel Lance robbed Arrow of its leading lady just as she was beginning to reach her ultimate goal, robbing the fans of the comic-accurate show that they had been promised, and sentencing them to a watered-down comic book series that prioritised melodramatic romances over its own foundations. Number 3. Turning it into a main show clone, Fear the Walking Dead when Fear the Walking Dead debuted on screens, it was quickly dismissed by those who didn't take to its domestic setup prior to the apocalypse's beginnings. Then when its parent show began to decline, it suddenly ignited, exploding onto screens with a third season that has gone down in history as one of the best in the entire Walking Dead universe. Unfortunately, Walking Dead showrunner Scott Gimple then came on board and thought it would be a good idea to make it more like its now flailing parent show. Time jumps moved Fear further away from its own identity as Gimple attempted to reboot it, and to top it all off, Walking Dead personality Vacuum Morgan was shoehorned into the spin-off as a main character, while Fear's two most interesting were quickly disposed of. A show originally intended as a look at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse through familial eyes was quickly turned into a half-baked Walking Dead wannabe. Number 2. Losing sight of its origin, Prison Break You'd think a show called Prison Break would have figured out that all it had to do was exactly what it said on the tin. The show's first season is considered one of the all-time great seasons of television ever made, and rightly so, as Michael Schofield's intricate plot to rescue his innocent brother Lincoln Burroughs from prison kept us glued to our screens for the whole year. It's true that the show accomplished everything it set out to do in that first year, but the fact of the matter is that it wasn't built to last, and it's unfortunate that Fox never realised that. The second season began documenting their lives on the run, with each episode making its title less and less relevant. And as the show went on, one or both brothers hopped in and out of different prisons in a desperate attempt to make that title mean something once more but it simply wasn't meant to be. Unfortunately, like we've seen many times before, its popularity was ultimately its downfall. Number 1. Ignoring the Build – Game of Thrones a show that prided itself on its long-running narratives, Game of Thrones always took its time when it came to plotting in order to ensure that every single moment, character, decision, and journey felt both authentic and warranted. Bafflingly, this successful formula was forsaken in the eighth and final season as a reduced episode count resulted in rushed storytelling, narrative blanks, and character decisions that didn't just feel unwarranted, but ones that completely undercut seven years of rich build-up without little to no 
explanation as to why. It's easy for the creators to look back on this and simply put the negative reception down to differing opinions from a vocal fandom. But the fact is that a divisive response like this doesn't just happen overnight. The fans knew what was going on here, and they reacted accordingly, because never in the history of television has there been such a rapid fall from grace. Game of Thrones will forever be considered TV royalty, that's a given, but that is not enough to protect it from forever being blemished by the decision to rush through the final season. Game of Thrones didn't just fall at the final hurdle, it plummeted. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed something, then do let us know in the comments down below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.